Hello everybody! This is going to be a quick recap of what we found during our recent live stream of box number three of our Hollywood Hoard of Lincoln Sense. As you may recall, the Hollywood Hoard of Lincoln Sense was an amazing hoard of over 100 boxes of Lincoln Sense acquired over 40 years ago from a Los Angeles area bank that no longer exists. Although most of the boxes contained uncirculated bank wrapped rolls of Lincoln Sense, some of the boxes had circulated rolls from the time, and that is what we search here on my channel. For more information on this Hollywood hoard of Lincoln Sense, please check out my introduction video, which is linked in the description below, and I'll try to put a link right up in the upper right hand corner for you as well. Anyway, after our live stream, I went through the coins again, as I know I miss a few things here and there during the live stream, and uh, here's going to be a breakdown of what we found in box number three. Wheat Sense, we got our Wheat Sense right up here in the upper left. We found 15 total Wheat Sense in this box. I'm continued to be a little bit surprised that we've been finding so few Wheats in these rolls as to what me and many of my viewers may be expected to find. All of the Wheat Sense we found were from the 1940s and 1950s. Uh, none of them were early examples either. Our earliest find was a 1942. When I search a modern box of Sense from the banks here in the Los Angeles area, I typically find about that many wheat cents as well, so not seeing more in a box from four or five decades ago is a little bit strange. Some viewers pointed out though that these rolls seem to be a mix of circulated and uncirculated coins, so maybe that's why we're not seeing as many wheats as maybe we initially hoped. Others commented that maybe the coins at this bank were being searched more than the coins at an average bank at the time maybe even by the collectors that were the ones that saved all these boxes of coins that we were lucky enough to uh, acquire decades later. We'll probably never know for certain. World coins in the box, we found just a couple and they were both from Canada. We found a 1960 and a 1974 cent, each from Canada. Again, comparing to what I get from the bank today, I also get one or two Canadian cents in each box that I search in the Los Angeles area, so it's kind of not surprising, but it's kind of cool too to see that that number seems to be con consistent even decades ago. 1959 cents, that's these right over here. We found 21 examples of the first year memorial sent in this box. Almost all of them from the Denver Mint. I think there might have been two from uh, Philadelphia. Nothing really special in these coins. Just curious to see how many of them we find each year. As in a modern box, I just get a few of them. So it's Kind of neat to see more of those than I would get in a box today. Also, I get many more San Francisco scents in these boxes. A ton more than usual. In this box, that's these coins all right here, and these are in stacks of 10. 294 San Francisco mint scents from 1968 through 1974 in this box. Usually, I get about 20 in a box when I search today. So 294 is awesome. What we had here was 1968S, 13 of those, 48 of the 1969S, 64 1970, 55 1971s, 62 1972s, 18 1973s, and 34 1974 San Francisco cents. Certainly fun to see so many of those. I mean, we get like a few per roll when we're searching these rolls, and it's just really fun. Especially fun are the many, many opportunities to check for that major 1969 San Francisco double die obverse variety. But again, we didn't get one. Again, there was not one in this box, but we'll still keep searching. Finally, the newest coins that we saw in this box were 1975 Denver cents, and uh, they were brand new uncirculated coins at the time when these were rolled up and um, found lots of those in brilliant uncirculated condition. So that means this entire box of 2,500 coins were all 95% copper cents. None of the modern copper plated zinc coins, which did not start until 1982. So again, 2,500 coins searched, 2,500 of them, 90, 95% copper. That's really fun as well. So there we have it. The results from our coin roll search box number three from the Hollywood Hoard of Lincoln cents. Here's a recap sheet for those of you guys interested in seeing that. Um, with, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that you think we should be tracking 
in these boxes as well as we search them. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep uh, searching them like we've been searching them, coming up with a similar list like this as we hunt the boxes going forward. Also, a couple people did point out, it was quite a while since we, it, a, a lot of time passed between our search of box number two and then box number three. So sorry about that. I hope that we won't have that much time pass again before we get to box number four. But um, I did know that I never did publish a results video from box number two. So sorry about that. But here is the recap sheet from box two that we searched uh, last February. Uh, for those of you interested in seeing that, again, we didn't find too many wheat scents. Only five wheat scents in that box. You can go back and watch the full live stream of that search, um, but I never did the results video. So there are the results from there. Again, a ton of... Uh, ton of those are San Francisco mint coins, and again, the newest date was 1975. All right, I do plan on searching another box from this hoard very soon, so please stay tuned to my channel to see that. Until then, I want to thank you guys all again for watching and for supporting my channel. Please keep having fun with your collecting, and we will see you next time.